My name is John McGinley. Um, I'm the Gillion King Cardin. I've been here for 18 years. Uh, I've taught a lot of people over the years to fish and to cast, and uh, it's something that I enjoy doing. I get as much pleasure out of other people fishing as I do myself. The King Cardin Beat is more or less in the middle of the river. Um, we're about 28, 30 miles from the sea, I would think, here. And the nearest village is King Cardin O'Neill, which is just a few hundred yards away and reputed to be the oldest village on this side. The beats adjoining us are Des, above us, and below us, Boriston. The beat on the other side is part of the Belogi estate, the Carlogi beat. One of the great attractions of this beat is there is plenty of fishing for everybody. The beat is over a mile long, and at least three quarters of that water is fishable at most heights. We generally fish three rods in the spring and in the autumn and in the summer because we normally get low water we go down onto two rods in July and August. We don't have any great depth anywhere on the beach apart from in the boat pool here but there's plenty of fishing and it fishes very well with a small fly and float in line most of the year. The access to King Cardin Beat is very good for the bottom half of the beat. We can drive right down to our brand new hut here which, as you can see, is top of the range. It's very good. There's plenty of room in it. We have a wood-burning stove, running water, the chairs, the furniture, everything that's in there is very comfortable. We've also got a very nice veranda, um, and it's only a matter of yards till we're fishing. We have a second hut on the top beat. It was a hut that we've been using since 1938 till this year. It's got a lot of character to it. Um, it's got an open fire and it's very basic, but it's very atmospheric. A lot of people still like to use it. The banks to walk up on the top of the beach are absolutely stunning. We have a huge bank of mature hardwood trees lining the bank. Absolutely fantastic spectacle. And as the seasons change, you'll see the different colors there. We're on the outside of a big bend here and the fish generally tend to lie the middle to our side of the river so we're not needing big long casts. We fish two rods up here generally and one down in the boat pool and the village pool and we're split basically in the middle. One rod will fish from the march pool right the way down into the tail of the calm pool and the second rod will fish the whin bush, the flat, the clay pot, and down into the willow bed. The willow bed is a very good high water pool. There's a bay that the fish pull into to keep out of the main current. During the spring and into the early summer, we're fishing mostly off of the bank here. We don't have to wade. Virtually everything that you're looking at here now, you could catch a fish. Every single yard of this water. My favourite pool is also the best pool, which is the boat pool and the village pool at the bottom of the beat. It's a very good holding pool and there's nearly always fish in there. And normally the prevailing winds over your right shoulder, being a left-hand bank for right-handed people, it's a very easy place to fish as well. And it really does take a floating line and small fly, which is my favourite method of fishing. It's also very easy to wade and negotiate your way down the pool. All the fish that are caught on King Cardin are entered into our logs at the fishing huts. These are books that you can fill out yourself or I'll fill out. And this is done on a day-to-day -day basis. And this one starts in 1972, starting to get a little bit tatty. And you can see all the names in there. There are still one or two people from the mid-70s, I said, who to come and fish. This gives you an example of what the fishing was like in its heyday. 1980 was a particular good year and still holds the record. That year, there was 346 salmon and 77 sea trout caught. And again, all of these were caught in the spring. Now, the catches aren't what they used to be. 30, 40, 50 years ago. But each beat on the river on its day can produce very, very good fishing, quality of fish and numbers. 
there's still a chance of hitting the jackpot. And uh, I see recently there has been a fish well over £40 caught on the D. And uh, it's only been a matter of time before that has happened. And I'm certain that there are other fish that size in the river as well. The Kincardine fishing is part of Kincardine Estate, which is approximately 3,200 acres, I believe. We have a big house, which was built in the 1890s. It's an absolutely superb house. Fantastic views. It looks more like a castle than a house. And we do have accommodation there. I think there is at least six or eight bedrooms. And we can cater for people if they want to stay at the big house. We have our own three bedroom cottage in the village here, which is very popular with fishers. Um, there's a very good bed and breakfast in the village. And there are a number of hotels within four or five miles of us and uh, you can cut your cloth accordingly. Probably 80, 85% of our fishers come back year in, year out. With the advent of the internet, we we're able to fill in the gaps with three day lets, and we also do day rods for people that live reasonably close by. Our rents are very reasonable in the grand scheme of things. I think the quality of the fish and the fishing you get on the deep for what you're paying is very, very good. <laughs>